watching Shalom TV, celebrating Jewish culture. There's a very special place that puts a smile upon each face. Come inside, come through the door at Mr. Bookstein's store. Take a seat and we will share books to take us anywhere. Songs and stories, fun galore at Mr. Bookstein's store. At Mr. Bookstein's store. At Mr. Bookstein's store. everyone, shalom. Welcome to Mr. Bookstein's store. My name is Shifra. And you know what? I'd like to know what your name is. So how about every week when you come to the Bookstein store, I will open up a letter and I will read your name. So everyone get ready and write down a letter and your name and send it to Mr. Bookstein's. And each week I'm going to open up the letter and see who wrote to me. Let's pretend for now that David wrote me a letter. And he said, Shifra, can you please sing my name? And I say, of course, it will go like this. Your name is David. David is your name. Your name is David. David is your name. Day, 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 David. David is your name. Day, day, day. David is your name. So don't forget, please send in all your names and I'll sing one each week on the show. Looking forward to hearing from you. Shifra! Hey, fella, how are you? Uh, I'm good. Hi, Shifra. I thought I heard you singing the name song. That's right. I was singing the name song to all our Haverim that are watching us. Oh, hello. Shalom, Haverim. Shifra? Yes, fella? Uh, do you think you could sing my name song? I'd love to. Are we ready? Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Your name is Fella. Fella, that's your name. Your name is Fella. Fella, that's your name. Take it away, fella. Ba, 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 fella. Fella is my name. Excellent job, Fella. <laughs> that was fun, Shifra. Fella, would you like to tell all our Chave Rim what we do here at Mr. Bookstein's store? Oh, sure. We have so much fun here. We, well, of course we sing songs. Oh, I love to sing. That's true. Lots of fun songs. Yes. We read lots of books. Oh, yeah. We have many books. Many books here at Mr. Bookstein's. And... Oh, we learned about the Jewish holiday. Oh, that's one of my favorite things to learn about, Jewish holidays. Mine too. I love Passover. I love Hanukkah. I love Sukkot. Oh, I love them all. Oh, but we also, we learn about Hebrew letters too. That's a lot of fun, and it's important to know your Hebrew letters. Yeah, yeah. So we have so much fun here at Mr. Bookstein's. And you come all the time, right, fella? Oh, yeah, I'm always here. I hope you come too, Haverim. That fella, he's such a riot. I love when he comes to visit me at the store. 
Mom, 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 mom. Hey, Shifra. Hey, Dara. How are you? Good. How are you? Great. Can you say hello to all my chaverim, all my friends? Oh, yes. Yeah. Shalom, chaverim. Everyone, I'd like to introduce you to Dara. She works here at Mr. Bookstein's store. Yes, and today I've come to bring you the mail. And Shifra, I have a very special letter for you today. I have a special and a very important letter. Uh, it's the Hebrew letter Shin. The letter Shin. That's incredible. This is one of my favorite letters. Mine too. Shin. Dara, do you know what sound the letter Shin makes? The letter Shin makes the sh sound. Excellent. The letter Shin makes a sh sound, as in Shin. Dara, do you also know which words begin with Shin? Oh, I know a few. Shall we tell the Chaverim? I'd love to. Here we go. Which words begin with Shin? Which words begin with Shin? There's Shabbat Shalom, Sabbath peace in the home. There's shofar, a ram's horn that is blown. Sha'on is a clock, that's how time is shown. And those words begin with shin. And those words begin with shin. Should we try that again? Here we go. Which words begin with shin? Which words begin with shin? There's Shabbat Shalom, Sabbath peace in the home. There's shofar, a ram's horn that is blown. Shown is a clock, that's how time is shown. And those words begin with shin. And those words begin with shin. And those words begin with shin. Shin. The Shin Flower Once upon a time, in a beautiful field, there grew a shin flower. But the shin flower didn't grow all by itself. It needed the Shemesh, the sun, and Geshem, rain. And after those two, the shin flower would see a Keshet, a rainbow. After thinking about the Shemesh, the Geshem, and the beautiful Keshet, the Shin flower was so happy that it would sing a shear, a song. Bella, I see you're looking at my favorite Hebrew letter, Shin. Yes, yeah, Shifra, I am looking at Shin. And I'm trying to think of words that begin with the letter Shin. Uh, could you help me? I'd love to. There are a lot of words that begin with the Hebrew letter Shin. Let's see. Shalom begins with the letter Shin. Right, Shalom. Shalom means peace, and people use it to say hello and goodbye because they're always wishing other people a peaceful hello and a peaceful goodbye. Shalom. Shalom. Ah, uh, what else? Let's see. I know right here we have a shofar. Shofar begins with a letter shin. Oh, I love the shofar. This is a ram's horn, and we blow it on a certain holiday. Do you remember what that holiday I is? Do it's Rosh Hashanah. Great job. You're right. It's from Rosh Hashanah. We blow the shofar, and shofar begins with the letter Shin. Excellent. Shin for shofar. Shin for shalom. Uh, what else, Shifra? Let's see. I know. How about right up here? We have a shaon, a clock. Shaon begins with the letter Shin. Shaon clock. Sha'on clock. And on the clock, there are many numbers. And there are a lot of numbers that start with the letter Shin. For example, Sheva. Sheva is the number seven, and it begins with the letter Shin. Wow, Sheva means seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, Sheva. Seven colors of the rainbow. Sheva. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sheva. 
seven days of the week. Sheva. Of all the Hebrew words that begin with the letter Shin, my favorite word is... Take a guess. What do you think? I it is, think Bella? I know. Yeah? I know. Shabbat. You're right. <laughs> it's Shabbat. I yeah. love Shabbat. Yeah, me too. And every week I wait for the Sabbath to come, and I can't wait. All my friends and family, we gather around the table, and we sing, and yeah. we laugh. Yeah. It's so much yeah. fun. It's so fun, my whole family comes and my grandmother comes she doesn't even live around here and she comes from out of town to visit us for Shabbat and I have my brothers there and my sister and oh it's just a beautiful night I know what you mean and fella look what we have over here what? <gasps> Shabbat candles. Oh, yeah, Shabbat candles. My mom lights those. You're right. On Friday night, we light Shabbat candles. Yeah, We say so a pretty. special blessing over the Shabbat candles. Lovely. Lovely. And what do you think we have over here? Oh, I know what that is. <laughs> what that's, the, that's the grape juice. That's what I drink, grape You're juice. You're right. That's called a Kiddush cup. Oh, yeah, Kiddush cup. And some people pour grape juice in, like you probably like to drink. Yeah, that's right. And I some like. people, like adults, like the moms and dads, we pour in wine for us. Yeah, I like my dad. And we make a special blessing to bless the Sabbath when the Sabbath comes. That's called the Kiddush. The Kiddush. The Kiddush. Very good. And then when it's finally time to sit down for the yummy meal, we start the meal with a special bread. Yeah, I know. You do? It's hiding under this special cover. Open what do you it. think it is? Should I it's, open it? Yes. It's... It's the challah. The challah. Yeah. We have love the challah. You're right. Challah is very yummy. And this is a special bread that we have on Shabbat. Oh, oh. I'm getting so hungry and I, I can't know, even wait for I Shabbat. Know. I can't wait either. Oh, and we're all going to have a great time on Shabbat. So thank you for coming to look at all my beautiful things on my Shabbat table. Thank you, Shifra. You're welcome. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, fella. Three-year-old Aaron Jonah sings the Aleph Bet. Aleph Bet, et gimel dalet hay, rav zayin het, tet yud, kaf kaf lamed mem non, samach ayin pepe sarik kuf, wef fen fen taf, now I think I've said enough. Wow! Wow! Chave <laughs> Rim, I'd like to introduce you to two very special friends of mine who came all the way over to Mr. Bookstein's store to do a special activity with us today. First, we have Ben. How are you, Ben? Good. Can you say hello to all my Chave Rim out there? Great. How old are you, Ben? Almost eight. Wow, what a big boy. Are you excited to do the special art activity now? Yep. Great. And we also have another very special friend of mine, and her name is Alexi. Hi, Alexi. Hi. How are you? Good. How old are you? Six and a half. Six and a half. Are you also very excited to do this activity? Yes. Yeah. Do you know what we're making? No. No? Well, I'm going to tell you. Do you know what we have on Shabbos? It's a special bread. Do you know what that special bread is called? Yes. What's it called? Challah. A what? Challah. Challah. You're right. And at the challah, on top of the challah, we have a challah cover. We're going to make today a very special challah cover. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. We need a cloth, either table, either any kind of cloth you want. Here we have a felt cloth, and I gave you each one rectangle felt cloth. What we're gonna do is moms and dads can help their children at home. We're gonna punch four holes in each corner of the felt cloth. And then we're going to take any string or yarn or anything you have at home, I actually had, isn't that funny? These are like straw. I had some straw at home. So you're going to take it and you're going to put it through the hole and you're going to tie a knot. Alexi, you want to take one also? 
and you're going to put it right through the hole. You're going to thread it through the hole like this, and you're going to tie a knot so you can make a fringe. That's great, just like that. Ready? Put it through the hole, Alexi, like this, then tie it around and pull it, and you can make a knot. Great! You could put one, two, three, four, as many as you want in each corner and put as many fringes as you want on the challah cover. Fabulous! We'll come back in a few minutes and see how Ben and Alexi are doing on their challah covers. One, two, three, four, five, six, Sheva! Seven cows, Sheva. One, two, three, four, five, six, Sheva. Seven ears of corn, Sheva. they're doing on their challah covers. Can we see? Ben, let me see how you did on your challah cover. Wow! Look at those fringes. That's great. And Alexi, how does yours look? Fabulous! You guys did a great job. Are you ready for step two of the challah covers? Parents, you can take any household sponge and you can draw a picture on the other side. Here I drew a picture of a challah. And then what you do is you cut out the shape and you get ready to use it as a sponge art for the challah cover. Here is our challah that we just cut out. And before, we cut out a Shabbat candle, which I am going to give to Ben. And a Kiddush cup. I'm going to give Alexi the Kiddush cup. And now we dip it in paint. Each of you can dip it in paint, and you can make any design you want on your Shabbat cover. that camera, that Shabbat candle came out. Let's see how your Kiddush cup came out, Alexi. Lift it right up and beautiful. You can do as many as you want. If you want to put some extra designs, they have in the stores these little roller paint brushes I got. You can dip it in and you can do a border for it all the way around or wherever you want to That looks great. 
that's incredible. You want to hold it up and show everybody what it looks like, Ben? Let's see your challah. Great! And before you put it on the challah, you better make sure it's dry. Let's see. Beautiful. Great job. Should we place it on one of the challahs here? Dry, it's dry. There. And now, let's see, galaxies. And that is one beautiful challah cover. Here we go. Ready? Excellent. And there we have two beautiful holo covers. Thank you, Ben, and thank you, Alexi, for coming today. One, two, three, four, five, six, Sheva. Seven sons, Sheva. One, two, three, four, five, six, Sheva. Seven puppies, Sheva. One of the things we love to do here at Mr. Bookstein's store is read books. And here we have one of my favorites, Sammy Spider's First Shabbat by Sylvia Roos. This is a book about the day of rest, Shabbat. Early Friday morning, Sammy Spider looked out the Shapiro's kitchen window. Josh was turning on the garden hose. Suddenly, a spray of water hit the window and Sammy jumped back, snapping a strand of his web. Mother, he called as he began to fall. Mrs. Spider caught Sammy midair. What's Josh doing? Sammy asked, catching his breath. He's watering the flower beds, she explained. Tonight, when the family gathers for Shabbat dinner, Mrs. Shapiro will put fresh flowers on the table. Will we celebrate Shabbat too? Sammy asked. Silly little Sammy, answered Mrs. Spider. Spiders don't celebrate Shabbat. Spiders spin webs, and you need to fix a new hole in ours. I'll fix it later, said Sammy. He was busy watching Mr. Shapiro unpack a bag full of groceries for Shabbat dinner. Sammy looked down at all the food. I wish I could celebrate Shabbat, he thought. But when he saw his torn web reflected in the wine bottle, he remembered his mother's words. Spiders don't celebrate Shabbat. Spiders spin webs. I'll fix it later, thought Sammy, following Josh into the dining room. Josh put the bottle of wine on the table. He took out the kiddish cups and the candlesticks and put them next to the wine. He put candles into the candlesticks. The tablecloth reminded Sammy of a huge spider web, and he remembered the hole in his web. I'll fix it later, he thought. Look how Sammy is coming down just to watch what Josh is doing. He really wants to be part of this family. Instead, he wandered back into the kitchen. Josh had finished lunch and he was helping Mrs. Shapiro make challah. She kneaded the dough and divided it into three parts. Josh rolled each strip and placed them side by side. Mrs. Shapiro took one strip and crossed it over the middle strip. Then she took another strip and crossed it back over the other way. Left over the middle, then right over the middle, she said. She did this again and again until the bread was braided. Sammy watched carefully, left over the middle, then right over the middle. He repeated, practicing on the strands of his web. The effort made him tired and he dozed off. Sammy wants to be part of the family. He tries so hard to do what the family's doing. Look, he was pretending that his web was hala and he was braiding it. While Sammy slept, Josh went up to his bedroom. It was time to clean up his toys. Sammy woke up to the sound of music. The sun was setting. The Shapiros were gathered around the dinner table singing Shabbat Shalom. I wish I could celebrate Shabbat, Sammy thought as he watched Mrs. Shapiro light the candles and recite the blessing. 
Everyone sang the blessings over the wine and challah. Mrs. Spider crawled over to Sammy and gave him a hug. My goodness, you fixed our web, she exclaimed. To his surprise, Sammy saw the web had been neatly braided, just like a Shabbat challah. Sammy listened while Mr. Shapiro read Josh a bedtime story. He climbed up to his web and fell asleep. The next morning, Sammy watched Josh get dressed for synagogue. He chose his favorite sweater and his kippah, and when the Shapiros left for Shabbat services, Sammy climbed up his web and noticed a tiny new hole. I wish I could celebrate Shabbat, he told his mother, but I guess I need to fix our web again. I remember how, left over the middle, right over the middle, he said. I guess I'll do it now. Oh no, smiled Mrs. Spider. Shabbat is a day of rest. You can fix it later. The end. That's all the time we have for this visit. Dara, Fella, and I want to thank you all for coming to Mr. Bookstein's store, and we hope to see you real soon. Shalom Chaverim. Goodbye, friends. Ulehitraot means we'll see you real soon. Shalom Chaverim. Shalom Chaverim. Shalom. Shalom. Lehitraot. That's all the time we have today. Thanks for coming here to play. We hope that you'll come back some more to Mr. Bookstein's store. We will miss you until then. You're special, so please come again. Bring your friends, there's room for more at Mr. Bookstein's store.